I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is part two of Native American tribal regions. I take three fingers over here at the left and I put a dot. I take three fingers over on the left, put a dot, three fingers over here on the left, and put a dot. Starting up here, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line from left to right. Come down to the second, slightly wavy line, left to right. Come down to the last one, slightly wavy line to the right. Come back to the top. This is going to be the plains. And the tribes are the Crow, the Cheyenne, Comanche, Arapaho, and the Blackfeet. Now, this group or I should say these groups had a very important relationship with an animal. So we're going to put a dot right here at the top, straight diagonal down, curve line up, leave it floating, come back to the dot, two, three, four curve lines, triangle, triangle, curve lines, come down over here, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line over, straight line up, connect, straight diagonal up, little curve line, straight diagonal down, curve line, straight line across, curve line up. Now come back up here to the top and let's just draw a straight line over and then curve line, curve line, curve line up curve line down, straight diagonal, curve line, curve line, straight diagonal up, curve line, straight diagonal down, curve line up, up, come over here to this part, draw me a curve line, one, two little straight lines, one, two dots. Horses brought over by the Spanish, changed the lives of all of these tribes who lived on the plains. Transportation, how to hunt buffalo, changed their lives. Come down to the next space. This is the Southwest. And in the Southwest were the Hopi, the Zuni, and the Navajo. What we're going to do is draw a slightly wavy line, come back to the left, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect. We're going to draw one two straight diagonals and put little straight lines in between. Come over here, we're going to draw one straight line down, little diagonals going up, one, two, three baby circles, come up, one, two, three baby circles, come down, one, two, three baby circles. Draw a skinny rectangle, skinny rectangle and a baby square. Right here I'm going to draw a baby circle for the sun. This whole area of building we still see today. Come down to the next section. This is the north west coast and this will include California. And the tribes 
or the Minok, which I'm sure I'm saying incorrectly, the Chumash, and the Quackacoodle. Quackacoodle. Okay. Come right here. Let's just draw a curved line. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. Straight line out on the right, straight line out on the left. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. Curve line, curve line. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line. One, two, curve lines. Straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. One, two, curve lines. Straight line, curve line, straight line, up. One, two, three, four straight lines. Curve line, curve line. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Come up here, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, dot, dot. Okay, this is a totem pole. That is what you would find on the Northwest Coast tribes. Next to it, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, wa um, wavy line. One, two, three three curved lines, one, two, going down, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight lines inside, curved line, straight line, and up here at the top, straight line, straight line. These were the mission, missions, and they did forced labor with the Native Americans, okay? Now come down in our region down here is the Great Basin and that is the two tribes are the Paiute and the Ute and right here we're just going to draw a wavy line up, down, over, wavy line inside then we're going to draw a curve line up, out, up, out, up, out. This is gold and silver. And that's what was discovered on their tribal lands. And this was also a very good example of how discovering gold and silver brought the pioneers, which eventually wiped out the tribes from disease and hard labor. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color my horse's hooves gray. And you can pretty much color your horse in any color you want. I gave him a purple mane just to add some color. Tails, just to add some colors. And then I chose a brown. Now, the, the use of the horses changed the way the, these tribes operated. They were able to cover long distances. They were able to pick up and move around much easier than they had done before. Okay, next, this is the Southwest, and all of us have probably seen this kind of building. So I'm going to take my apricot and color these in. And it's interesting to see how, depending on what the environment was, how they built their homes. And this, here's yellow, because it was such almost a desert environment, they would take their houses and make sure that they were built with thick walls for the heat to stay out during the summer and 
provide the correct insulation for the winter. So I do blue green on this. Next, I'm going to come down to my mission. Now the mission system was a way of colonizing the area from the Spanish. But while they did that, they ended up using the Native American tribes for labor and took out quite a few. I forgot some brown over here on my Pueblo looking. So this was not a good setup for the tribes. And a lot of them died because of it. The Quacutl is the totem poles. And these you can pretty much color any way you want. They're pretty colorful. And they were really made for their villages to keep spirits away. And also announce who they were as a tribe. So these can all be done in different colors. Totally up to you. Okay. And the bottom part, very important. As soon as they discovered minerals, gold, silver, they took over the area and displaced the Native Americans again. So that's brown and I'm putting some yellow so it looks like it's gold or silver. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are all of my Native American regions colored in. As you can see, a lot of things happened to the Native Americans as far as displacing them from their tribal regions. Okay, bye-bye.